In this video, I'm doing a review of the Happy Planner Dot Grid notebook. So this notebook is just over 5.6 inches wide by 8.5 inches high, which is fairly standard size for these dot grid notebooks, which we've all seen before. Now, it is unusual that the Happy Planner have done a dot grid in stone bound because obviously they're very known for their disbound. So I was quite keen to do a review of this notebook and see how it compares to other brands that are more well known for always doing the sewn bound style. So it's about one inch thick, as you can see it has nice bright white paper. That paper is also 160 GSM, which is quite thick, which was yet another reason why I wanted to do a review and see how it compares to other um, dock grid notebooks with 160 GSM paper. So there is a pen test, which I'll show you um, later on in the video. So my thoughts on the cover, um, quite frankly, I hate it. Um, it was the nicest one that I could find, but to be honest, they were all really ugly. Um, there was only about six different designs. Most of them were floral, which just gives me grandma vibes. And the colors were just gross. As you can see, the colors of this, it's just, nah. I don't like it, like at all. But I really wanted to test out the notebook, so this was the one I ended up picking. They really need to improve their cover designs. I've noticed over the years, they just get more and more gross. And I really don't like the direction that they're heading in with their cover designs. So all that aside, there is a built-in pen loop, which is quite handy. And then let's go into the notebook. So my first impression is that these pages, well, I've already looked at it before I did this video, but my first impression was that these pages do not really lay flat. You really have to break the spine. You can see that they're popping up a bit. But once you break the spine, they do lay flat. So by break the spine, I mean turn the notebook over. And then if you pull the pages back towards yourself, obviously be a bit gentle, not too firm, then the pages will lay flat. The other thing to note is that there are no page numbers, which is a huge con for me. I love having page numbers and without them, I find it quite irritating to use a notebook. So I might end up only using this for drafting um, dot grid spreads. The grid is five mil, which is standard. But one thing you'll also note as we flip through, not only are the dots a really bold grey, which I don't particularly like because then it doesn't blend. Um, the dots don't blend into the background once you write something, which you'll see on the pen test page. Um, but it's just, they're a little too bold. And you can also see as I flip through the placement of the dots slightly differs. It's like the binding doesn't feel very good quality. And some of the dots are so close to the edge of the page that I wouldn't want to rule a line. They're like, that's fine on this side. Here we've got a bit of space but then up the top it just clips it there's also a little mark so their their dot placement is not very accurate it just feels like the notebook is a bit cheap like cheaply made even though it retails for 25 us i feel like that's quite overpriced because i'm not getting like quality uh, vibes from this notebook there are two ribbon bookmarks they're unfortunately the same color i find it a lot easier to find my place in a notebook if they're different colors uh, but at least we have two of them and keep flicking i'll show you that pen test that i did so i did the usual uh, gel ballpoint fine tip some jewel tip so you can get a good idea about the paper quality so if we look at the back side of the page the paper did go really well the only bit of show through is that uni p pen which is quite notorious for showing through so paper quality is good it is 160 GSM, which is nice and thick. So if you do do lots of marker pens um, and very heavy, like ink heavy um, stationery and Tombow brush pens, those sort of things, then this paper would should, should hold up fine, except for that one. So that's good quality paper versus the rest of the notebook. And then the highlighters and the stamps. So there was a bit of, um, bleed through ironically for the happy planner stamps so i thought that was quite funny the rest it's fine there's no show through so i do like the 160 gsm paper but it's really the only thing that's going for this notebook i think the bright white's nice you can see there's that inconsistent dot grid printing placement again like that's wonky look at that i couldn't do a two page weekly spread with this that would drive me nuts because the lines wouldn't line up so that's quite disappointing because um, I really do like their disbound dot grid notebooks. I always use those, really, really like them. I was also hoping they might come out with a 7 by 9 inch sewn bound version because I do love their uh, disbound notebooks in that size and I use them all the time. So I was really disappointed by the poor quality of this notebook. 
Um, at the back, the only other thing to point out is the pocket folder. It does also come with three sticker sheets um, in the same pastel design as the notebook. I've taken them out, but I will do a photo and have them in the blog post, which will be linked down below if you want to have a look. There are lots of functional stickers, which at least is good. Um, and at least the sticker sheets are a nice extra because not many Doc Grid notebooks do come with those sticker sheets. So would I recommend this notebook? Uh, you probably could tell from this video, no. I think there are plenty of other 160 GSM Doc Grid notebooks that are far better quality, have much nicer covers, and just the paper's nicer, the dots will align properly. I really think that this is not a good product. I think Happy Planner could have done a lot better. It feels very rushed, almost like they just slap together something to test if a sewn bound notebook would sell well. I don't think they picked a very nice cover design. I think they need to have another go at it and maybe it will come out better in their second round if they do end up doing a second round. Because I do remember that they did some sewn bound planners, which I quite like. They did those quite well and then they mustn't have sold well and they discontinued them. So not sure how long this one will be around for. So if you do like it, you probably want to get a copy. Otherwise, I will have a blog post link down below with the best ones that I think that I recommend if you are looking for a 160 GSM notebook. Hope you found this review helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. I usually post a new review video maybe once a week, once a fortnight these days. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.